Hello everybody, Mr. Lipchick, and our topic for this segment is the writing of the Constitution, which, as you recall, uh, was becoming more and more necessary and apparent to everybody as a necessity. Okay, uh, it began with the Annapolis Convention, which took place at Annapolis, Maryland. In 1785, George Washington invited representatives from Maryland and Virginia to Mount Vernon in order to discuss conflicts they were having. Washington had universal respect, so of course they came to his estate. The meeting was successful and inspired Virginia's representatives to call another meeting in 1786 for all states to discuss commerce, and this took place at Annapolis, Maryland. There's a picture of the old Capitol building where it took place. Only five states, however, sent delegates, uh, which kind of shows you um, some of the you know feelings about uh, creating uh, another agreement. Two delegates, Alexander Hamilton of New York and James Madison of Virginia, favored a stronger national government. Hamilton and Madison persuaded the other delegates at Annapolis to call for a convention in Philadelphia in 1787. The purpose of the convention would be to regulate commerce among the states and make the national government more effective. The Confederation Congress consented to the Philadelphia Convention for the sole and express purpose of revising the Articles of Confederation. Okay, the convention itself. George Washington was elected to preside over the convention, ensuring its acceptance by the people. Benjamin Franklin, even though he was very elderly, attended and was involved in the discussions. And James Madison was the author of a basic plan that was adopted and is known, and he is known as the father of the Constitution. Each state would have one vote on all questions at the convention. A simple majority would decide the vote. No meeting could be held unless seven delegates from the 13 states were present. The public and the press were excluded so that the delegates could talk freely, so that they didn't have to worry about every little thing making it into the press. And it actually got very hot because they had all the windows shut, so no one could hear. While delegates met for the purpose of revising the articles, eventually they decided to create an entirely new government. They agreed that the government should be limited and representative. They also agreed that the national government should be divided into legislative, executive, and judicial branches. It was agreed that the national government should be stronger and that the state power to coin currency and to interfere with creditors' rights should be limited. Okay, that concludes our discussion. Look forward to seeing you in our live lessons. Have a great day.